Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to hydrate, moisturize, and restore extremely dry type four hair. I neglected my hair for a week, which isn't like me, but we all fall from grace and drift from the light. So let's delve into my hair redemption routine to bring my juicy curls back. The goal is always a booty crack length hair, so dry hair will not rob us of what the ancestors planned for us, okay? If you are struggling with dry hair, I hope this routine will help you too. And while you're here, I would really appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up. It truly supports my channel. And definitely consider subscribing if you like this type of content and want to see more. So this is how I started off this wash day, y'all. My hair was so dry, it was so parched, and it needed a lot of love i usually don't allow my hair to get like this i ain't put no spray on it no moisturizer no leave-in nothing and you can tell in order to fix my hair i did go in with a diy pre-poo treatment i already have a dedicated video on how i made this pre-poo you can definitely check it out in the cards if you are not into DIYing, no problem. I will link some commercial store-bought alternatives down below. In the description box, I got you. Everything will be linked down below. Unless I'm going in with rice water, when I apply a pre-poo, I like going in on dry hair. This allows my low porosity hair to better absorb the product. I know applying products on dry hair makes some of y'all cringe, but this is what works best for me. If you've been on my channel, you have seen how my hair has transformed. You've seen how I've grown my hair in a short amount of time. So even though it sounds crazy and it looks crazy, it works for me and it may work for you too. This pre poo was bomb. It was really easy to detangle my hair. It moisturized my hair. It hydrated my hair. If you haven't seen that video, again, you can check it out. But I like going in with a pre poo I have a dedicated video on pre pooing the importance of pre-pooing, how to pre-poo, why you should pre-poo, you should definitely check it out in the cards as well. Every wash day, I go in with a pre-poo. When I don't pre-poo, my hair hates me. And what we gonna do in 2021? We gonna love ourselves and we gonna love our hair. So we gonna pre-poo over here. After applying the pre-poo, this is what my hair looks like. You can tell that the hydration and the moisture was back. It was lost, but now it's found, and that is the goal. We always want to achieve max hydration. After applying the pre-poo, I did braid my hair in two sections and allow the pre-poo to sit on my hair overnight. That is a game changer for me. If you're not pre-pooing overnight, hmm, what you doing, sis? What you doing? Let that pre-poo sit overnight and thank me later. The next day, all I do is rinse out the pre-poo with warm water. As a low porosity girl, I like using warm water throughout my entire wash day. I don't go in with anything lukewarm. I don't go in with no cold water. I use warm water throughout the process, and that is what works best for me. After rinsing out the pre-poo, I section my hair into four sections. I like working in sections. It makes it easier for me. I'm not as overwhelmed on wash day. I can treat my hair section by section and make sure I'm giving each section the love and care that it needs. The first step is to wet my hair down with what? Warm water. Just to prep my hair for the cleanser. I'm going in with the main choice deep hydration shampoo. I will leave all the links down below to everything that I use today so don't worry about it. Usually I do go in with a co-wash for those of you who have been on my channel, but I'm trying something new, trying something different for the new year. I'm experimenting more with shampoo. Stay tuned to my channel to see my final verdict on shampoo, because y'all know I'm a ride or die co-wash girl. To be honest, you can't go wrong with a main choice shampoo. This is the third main choice shampoo I've tried, and I like it just like I like the other ones. <laughs> You really can't go wrong. I'm not even into shampoo like that. And all their shampoos have been bomb for me. You can see when I apply shampoo, I apply shampoo all throughout my hair strands. I know a lot of people just focus the shampoo at their roots. Not me. I don't do that. I'm never going to do that. I've always applied shampoo throughout my hair and nothing has changed. I'm not dogging anyone that just applies shampoo on their scalp. 
But for me and my household, we're going to apply shampoo all over, okay? That's what we're going to do over here. After I wash my hair, I just twist my hair up, roll it into a loose bantu knot, and I move on to the next section. Again, wetting my hair down with warm water. Sometimes I even press the water into my hair just to allow the water to absorb into my low porosity strands. Then I go in with the shampoo, again, applying it all over. Every single part of my hair gets the shampoo. And make sure that you take your time with this process. Even though I have sped this video up, I take my time. If you don't have time to do your hair, don't do your hair. Do not lion king your hair. Do not scratch your scalp. Do not pull on your hair. Do not go ham with your hair. Take your time, have patience, and your hair will thank you. After shampooing each section, I go back in section by section with what? Warm water. <laughs> I feel like Dora the Explorer. It takes me back to my childhood. But yes, warm water, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I twist my hair up and I move on to the next section. Working the shampoo out of my hair. You do not want to leave shampoo on your hair. Shampoo is meant to clean. It is not meant to moisturize. So you don't want to keep that stuff on your hair at all whatsoever now it's time to condition i'm going in and i'm re-wetting the section to prep my hair for the conditioner i'm going in with a cheapy new conditioner to me by faith in nature i did just post a video on the deep conditioner by faith in nature if you haven't seen that video you can check it out this was an extremely loosey childish type of consistency I was really surprised by that. It is very thin. It is very, very thin. But the one good thing about that texture is that it does have a lot of slip. Because it's not super thick and it does have this runny consistency, my hands just glide through my hair. And y'all can see that I don't use combs and brushes. This is the way that I retain length. I stay far away from combs and brushes. I use them every now and again, but for the most part, I exclusively finger detangle. And that was the game changer for me a few years ago. It's definitely not the most moisturizing rinse out conditioner that I've ever used. It doesn't pack the moisture like other rinse outs that I love, but for the price point, for the ingredients, it has really good ingredients, no silicones, none of that. I would say it's a pretty good rinse out. If you want to try it, it's something worth trying. You can check it out and see how you like it. Again, everything will be linked down below. Again, wetting my hair down with warm water. And honestly, a good wash day is all about repetition. I don't do many things differently. The steps are the same. The technique is the same. Even though I might use different products sometimes, and sometimes I may switch up what I do, for the most part, what I do in my routine is usually the same. Doing your hair long is not about some secret ingredient or some secret DIY recipe. It's really all about consistency and it's about a lot of patience. Your hair will not grow overnight. Your hair will not transform overnight. It takes time and it takes patience. And I have to say that because I gotta keep it real with you. Now it's time for the last step in this video and I'm just rinsing out the conditioner. My hair felt great, it felt hydrated, my curls were back, my hair wasn't sticking together, it wasn't dry, it wasn't ashy, shine came back. All the steps came together to get my hair back. It just wasn't one thing or two things, it was all the things that I did to help revive and restore my hair. I did follow up the rinse out conditioner with a deep conditioner, if you haven't seen my video on the deep conditioner that I use, you can definitely check the cards above. Click on that video and check it out to see my deep conditioner routine. You want to deep condition weekly and maybe during the week you want to refresh and you can use just a rinse out conditioner. But you got to deep condition, so definitely check out that video. That's it for now guys, I am out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video was helpful, definitely let me know. Comment down below. Give this video a like and all that good stuff. And I'll talk to y'all later.
Peace. Bye, y'all.